Hello, in this video we are going to talk about LoRa module and the famous Flipper Zero. Ok, so the Flipper Zero do not include any module that could like work with like the LoRa protocol. However, uh, you could actually install and wire LoRa module to the GPIO. So basically now what has been done is using the UART serial uh, slash console um, application from um, cool for you may and send command through this interface. So thanks to double E F key sub, I, I don't know if there is a play on words or something but he has like developed like this application on the flipper zero the one that is like uh, that I'm hovering right now okay so basically you need to use your lower module with the pinout uh, that is described here so indeed there is also like the VCC to, to power like the device that you need to uh, to wire in addition to the ground and the reception and transmission uh, pinout okay and in the end what is great it's like you have user keyboard to type your command so of course that might not be as fast as you could do with any other like device um, with LoRa embedded I'm thinking in particular with like all the metastatic um, solution where you even have let, let's say an application that you could run on your smartphone or even with a web interface but hey that's a proof of concept and now it will allow you to play with like LoRa with your Flipper Zero. So here we are going to see how to go in depth with this. I wanted to thank Reax uh, for reaching me out. This company actually come and send me an email. So for me it was really awesome, you know, I'm like just a random dude like trying to kind of like just try out tinkering a bit with the Flipper Zero and they asked me genuinely if I was like up for partnership. So I say, yeah, you know, it was like pretty new to me. Uh, back then when I was like in high school and college, I used to organize like, let's say big LAN parties and events. And I was actually the one like going for sponsorship. And here somebody actually come to me. We have like a genuine like interest in talk. And they asked me what I'm like interested about. And I have like look about this company. So it's a Taiwanese company with like a lot of experience and with really interesting like uh, module. Especially here for today's video, uh, they gave me like uh, a couple of like their um, RYL R 998 lower module. So first thing I found like the PCB is really cute. It looks like uh, a bird. So here, like, look at this. Uh, it's actually a dove. And yeah, it's not only uh, Laura wave that is like being a symbol, you know, that's flying or into the air, but also love and peace. And we really need this nowadays. And just for this, I found it was awesome, you know. Because for me also being like recognized by them, it's it's nice, you know, because it's not such of like a random like partnership, like where people like are talking about, not playing with, and they give you a transcript and, you know, you're basically like being a broker or advertiser in the street. So it's really not something I, I felt like this. So it's like they give me... Uh, this, they told me like, yeah, do what you want with them. Uh, just display, of course, you, you have use them. And yeah, 
because like all this video you know I'm buying some modules and stuff and yeah that's not starting it's starting to be a expensive hobby nowadays I could say yeah of course it's not like a sports car driving but still you know um, 20 bucks here on here and like uh, shipping is extra so it was uh, really nice from them to to ship me so these two modules and they also have keen interest to to send me like every 5d uh, one that I will be really interested to to use to make another video with the flipper zero and also URT uh, device so yeah it's not like I accept any briberies but here it's really nice and anyway I have like tick this YouTube uh, here video as it is like uh, kind of promoted or, or something so anyway that's for like the disclaimer after all the greetings let's focus on this video and why we need such a module so what was interesting is like the AYLR 896 module was used previously with su success actually some people have commented this on discord you will find in the link below uh, some sources of course but here actually I have requested like the, the other module you know with the little uh, dove so I was like damn it why did it do this uh, was it like um, not going to be uh, uh, compatible but thankfully like it's using also like the AT uh, command so what we are like doing here is like connecting to the module using the serial so what is actually intended here with this application so I'm not going to develop anything additionally and here like the board rate used by this module here is using the same um, as the other module which is like that one you will see it's a bit bigger so I think if you don't need let's say something small due to like a size uh, condition if you want to get something really small that's what I wanted to to have basically because I know here like now I'm using the cable with like the, um, the flipper zero so not having like a, a dev module but probably here I know the, the pin are not like fitting but it's something you could like imagine like being really really small you know and here like with this module it will be maybe a bit bigger so I don't know I, I didn't like really prototype um, any integration right now but that's why I wanted like a, a small uh, module okay let's get our hands on the module with the application so before this I wanted to kind of find out which kind of commands we should like send so I have looked around for this kind of module and there was a lot of tutorial one that really helped me a lot was the one from Michael so thank you Michael if you are watching this somehow and there is a link in the source of the description okay so here I'm also using the latest unleashed version with like the extra package so it's up to you either like you download the extra package or you want to compile from the source here I just kept the extra package so I have everything so you go in GPIO and the score extra whatever you you name it and then there is the LoRa terminal application okay so basically here it's running again the UART uh, application so kind of a bridge front end whatever you want to to name it and then here we hit send command okay so now let's start and see if the connection is fully working okay so you remember you have to keep press to have like everything in uh, caps okay so I just sent 80 
and if the connection that I made is is okay with the module I should have a okay here we go the connection is okay and fully working we're going to check what is the version of the board okay so I have spared you all my typing here and just showing you this quick uh, hint okay so the question mark is here if you keep press uh, okay so save so you see I have indeed like the matching uh, reference from the module and also the version of the board okay let's see which frequency is configured on this module okay so here the module is configured to run on 915 megahertz however I'm in Europe so it should be 868 megahertz we are going to see how it changes here is a command we need to run in order like to change the frequency band to the 868 megahertz so in this situation I'm going to hit save as I said I'm in Europe nobody is perfect right okay so here's the command has been taken into account let's check this because don't trust but verify okay I hit save it is now saved so the module is going to work on this frequency so let's sum up here we have like configured the band to, according to the European frequency here for the flipper zero but now we want to speak and send message from this flipper to that one so in order to establish the communication between the two modules we need to be able to make them found each other and for this it is related to the LoRa ecosystem for my understanding and we need to set up a network and set an ID for each of them and an address so let's see how to do that and continue on that one and I will do this one offline I'm defining the network ID as 5 okay we will define 1 1 as a address for this flipper 0 okay so here I have configured the other flipper 0 with like the same network ID but a different address so this one holds 101 and this one holds 102 here on the right side of the screen you could already see I have received actually a message from 102 saying hi with like 2 here as the number of bytes or characters your message should handle so yeah you need to calculate those before sending here I'm going to send another message hello and that's it so it's really actually interesting way to see how to use the LoRa with the flipper zero here so I still think it's kind of the early stage kind of proof of concept I must say I'm not a developer so I'm not here able to kind of bring much more than visibility to the project at that point I think what will be really nice to have with all this URT slash terminal application is a way to run script from that because like when you need to run some commands sometimes it's take a lot of time and action to move with the d-pad especially from the flipper zero if you want to get all these different and special characters so that's my thoughts also I have like gathered some uh, mesh um, 
I mean, some LoRa uh, slash mesh stick uh, device. So I'm going to try to see what I could do now with like the Flipper Zero and this kind of modules, because it's still interesting to see, okay, you could like communicate between two Flipper Zero and with no a wide range. But what if you want to interact with others device especially here like the metastatic uh, solution which use LoRa so I didn't read much about that right now so I might be completely wrong but that's the kind of idea I have at that time so thank you for watching and stay tuned for new adventure bye bye